This is Miss Jess from the Pequannock Library. Hope you're having a wonderful week. This week we have an author illustrator and her name is Selena Yoon. I don't know if you've seen these books before, but a lot of her books have little penguins in them. So our craft for the week is an adorable little penguin that you can make. All the pieces are inside this bag and you can get them at the library while supplies last. So we are going to be reading Penguin's Big Adventure. But before I do that, I want to show you a few of her other books that we have in case you're interested in looking at more of her things. They all, you'll be able to see, have similar kind of cutesy little drawings and little characters that are absolutely adorable. And I really wish they would make stuffed animals out of them because they are just so cute, I wanna squish them. So <laughs> the first one is Stormy Night. And you can see little bear. When bear can't sleep on a stormy night, he finds comfort in a familiar song, a kiss, and a tickle. Little, little bunny, little bunny friend. We have a couple of easy readers. Those are kind of like beginning readers for kids that are trying to start reading on their own. This one's called Duck, Duck, Porcupine. Meet Big Duck, Little Duck, and Porcupine. <laughs> so cute, I love it. Another one with the same little friends is My Kite is Stuck and Other Stories. Back to the picture books. Here's another penguin one. This is Penguin and Pumpkin. Penguin's curiosity about fall sends him on a journey to a faraway farm where he finds the perfect way to share the joys of the season with someone special back home. That's a really cute one for the fall. Here's our bear friend back again. Found. When Bear finds a lost toy bunny in the forest, he discovers that doing the right thing isn't always easy. So you'll see a lot of the same characters in the stories. There's Bear's big day. Bear is ready for school. But does being big mean giving up his best friend, Sloppy? So there's Sloppy. So if you like the characters, you get to read about all their different adventures. And now we're gonna read Penguin's Big Adventure. When Penguin decides to visit the North Pole, he discovers that new places can be scary, but sometimes all it takes to feel right at home is a friendly face. I wonder who Penguin's gonna meet. Looks like he's got all his gear ready, all his supplies, and he's gonna be climbing a big mountain. He's got his little flag. Penguin was here. That's where they plant a flag. Uh, they planted a flag when we landed on the moon, <laughs> just to say, we were here, ta-da, we were here first. One day, Penguin had a big idea. He wanted to do something no penguin had ever done. He wanted to be the first penguin ever to step foot on the North Pole. Can you see what Penguin's holding? What do you think that is? I think it's a map. I think it's a map so he can figure out how to get there. He's never been there before. Hmm, it's 12,436 miles away. Do you think that's far away? That sounds very far away. That's very, very far. Even a mile is far for me. <laughs> Penguin planned and packed. He rolled up his adventure map, okay, and set off. He's got his little scarf. He's got his map. He's ready to go. But before his first mile, Penguin saw Emily sewing. There's Emily. This looks like a very nice quilt, said Penguin, and the brightest I've ever seen. Have you ever seen a penguin sewing before? But then again, I've never seen a penguin talking before either, so I guess it's believable enough. And she's got a lovely little pearl necklace here. Beautiful. Before Penguin reached his second mile, he saw his leather, little brother Pumpkin. Oh, a little pumpkin. Weaving. Oh, more, more weaving and sewing. That is a fine basket pumpkin, said Penguin, and the biggest I've ever seen. Wow, he weaved together a big giant basket. So big you could even fit in it. That's really great. Some, some skills there. Right before his third mile, he saw Bootsy, there's Bootsy, braiding the longest rope he'd ever seen. Can I help, he said. I don't want to tie you up, Penguin. You have so far to go, she said. 
Then Penguin set off for the other side of the world while his busy friends worked on their own world records. Oh, I get it. So he's trying to set a record by being the first penguin, but they're trying to set records by being the biggest and the longest things that they can. So they're all trying to set records. Penguin passed through his favorite places and visited with old friends. Oh, there he is. Looks like there's a little tree with a scarf there. I guess it got cold. Cowabunga, said the little lobster. I guess he's cold too because he's wearing mittens and a scarf. He had a whale of a time. Our friend the knitting penguin. Oh, I guess he knits too. These are little toucans saying hello. And there's him having a whale of a time. Whee! And even the whale's wearing a little sweater. That's so cute. Finally, Penguin reached the North Pole. I'm on top of the world! There he is, my tiny little dog. Penguin threw confetti! Yay! He turned cartwheels! Hooray! And planted a sign. Penguin was here. He is very excited. Hooray! 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 Penguin shouted, and it echoed across the ice. Nobody answered. Penguin was suddenly lonely and afraid. But he was not alone. Uh, oh. Who did he meet? What's that little guy? Maybe a little polar bear? Penguin had never seen a polar bear, so he thought that polar bears were big and scary. And polar bear had never seen a penguin. Polar bear apparently thinks that penguins do karate. Hiya! <laughs> That's kind of cute. I like that. It was scary. They were both scared because they'd never met. He'd never met a penguin before. He'd never met a polar bear before, so they were scared. They didn't know it was going to happen. Penguin and polar bear smiled, and it wasn't so scary anymore. Do you wear a black belt? Polar bear asked. No, said Penguin. I wear an orange scarf. And then Penguin asked, Do you have big, sharp teeth? And Polar Bear said, no, but one might be coming in. <laughs> He's got his baby teeth still. Together, they went on a North Pole adventure. They went whale watching, built ice forts, explored the Arctic Sea, and welcomed more visitors. Who's that in the basket there? Can you see that? It looks like those are his friends. We missed you, they said. And there's the biggest basket and there's the longest rope and the biggest quilt all together. Those are all his friends and the big balloon. Then it was time for new friends to say goodbye. They're hugging goodbye. Aw, sad. Penguin left Polar Bear his adventure map. He didn't need it anymore. Now Polar Bear has the adventure map. And Penguin's leaving. He's in his basket with his friends. It's a big quilt, so it's catching the air. It's like a big air balloon. Because the best part of having an adventure is, what do you think the best part of having an adventure is? Hmm. Oh, there's little geese up here. I didn't know penguins could fly. They can't. <laughs> the best part about having an adventure is coming home. Yay! Welcome home, the penguins rode in the ice. Oh, they all missed him. There they are, sailing home. World record, first penguin to set foot on the North Pole. Certified by Grandpa, witnessed by Polar Bear. World record, first polar bear to meet a penguin. Certified by Grandpa, witnessed by Penguin. They both hit their world records. The end. That was super cute. So if you want to read more adventures about Penguin, or Bear and his little bunny, or the ducks and the porcupine. You can come check those out at the library. And now I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you how to make this adorable little penguin. So let's get started. Okay, so I've emptied out all the supplies from my little penguin bag. So you should have this penguin body. You should have the white little belly. We should have these two little feet, two little half circles 
So there's a whole circle. And then there's the halves. This little beak. And these little white dots, little, little circles. They're actually called reinforcements. You can ask your parents what those are used for. But we're gonna be using them for penguin eyes today. So the first step, oh, don't forget your glue stick. The first step is we're going to put the belly on the penguin. So I wanna get that belly right there in the middle. Get that glue on there. It kinda of reminds me of my kitty cat. She's got lots of black fur, but then she has a belly, like a, almost like a little diamond on her belly and it's white. Okay, so here we go. Penguin belly. Next, we're gonna put the little feet on. So the little feet are gonna go just like that, like that. Okay, so get your glue. You can put them, I uh, just put like a little bit of glue on the top part there. It's all, it's paper, gluing paper on paper. So you don't need a lot of glue. So you're not gonna need your, your wet glue. You're just gonna need your glue stick, which means less mess for me. <laughs> okay, there you go. And then we're gonna put the little beak on. The little beak's gonna go right there. So it's gonna hang a little bit in front of the belly. And put that on. Little triangle. Got nice, lots of little shapes here, right? Okay. So we've got the oval. That's the belly. We've got the half circles. That's the feet. And the triangle is the nose. And the body is kind of almost like a triangle shape, too. And then the eyes are circles. So for the eyes, you don't need your glue. These are um, like little stickers. So you're going to take them and you're gonna put them right where you want the eyes to go. So just right there. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. There. Ta-da! <laughs> and if you wanna be extra creative, you can make a little flag for Penguin that says Penguin was here. That way you can reenact the story that we just read. So I hope you had a good time reading our story and making our little penguin. And don't forget to come and get your craft bag. And please come and visit us at the library. We are now open normal hours. So that's Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then Friday is 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And then Saturday is 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So you can come visit us anytime. Just make sure you're wearing your mask. And when you come in, you grab a little pass. So that way we can keep track of how many people are in the library for safety. Okay, so hope to see you soon. Bye guys.